Hey, I'm Fuzzy, and in this video, I will show you how you can make mock-up packaging like this, and this, very quick and without 3D modeling experience. This video is sponsored by Plectora. Are you a designer or business owner looking for professional packaging solutions? Look no further. Pictora offers over 4,900 packaging templates, D-lines, and mock-ups everything you need for packaging all in one place. With Pictora's mock-up generator, you can easily visualize your designs, and their 3D modeling software allows you to see your packaging from every angle. Plus, their template and D-line generator provides you with 100% customizable and downloadable options tailored to your specific needs. Want to take it to the next level? Get Pictora Pro for just $9 per month, or save even more with the yearly plan at only $5 per month. And with my code, you'll get an additional 20% discount on your subscription. Whether you're creating packaging for a new product or enhancing an existing design, Pectora has you covered. Thanks to Pectora for sponsoring this video, and make sure to check them out. First, create a new document with a width of 310 mm and a height of 225 mm, ensuring a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. And don't forget to set the color mode to CMYK if you want to print the final design. Create new solid color and set the color as you like. Add the D-line, which you can find on the website. Place the D-line below the solid color layer. Use the ruler to mark the edges of the canvas. Use the pen tool to create the first shape. Now add the second shape. Place the brownie image into the document. Make sure to place the brownie layer on top. Adjust the size and position of the image. Add the floating brownie image to the design. Adjust the size and position of the image. Place the floating brownie image below the shape layer. Set the opacity of the solid color back to 100%. Put the floating brownie image inside the group. Make a brightness and contrast layer. Hold Alt and click between the brightness, contrast layer and the floating brownie layer to apply the adjustment only to the floating brownie layer. Also, adjust the brightness and contrast to make the image darker. Add the first text. Add the drop shadow to the text. Add the second text below the first text. Add all the following text and elements to the design.
the same to the back packaging design. Go to packdora.com then sign with your account. Go to Workbench. Then make new mockup files. Search for the name or type of packaging you want. In this video, I will design a pouch for a protein brownie. You can also choose the weight the packaging can handle to determine its size. After that, you can upload your design or create one on the website using Pictora's tools. Drag your design onto the D-line to position it appropriately. You can view a real-time mockup of your design in the top right corner. Change the bottom of the packaging to match the main color. You can save it if you're done. Now you can see the design applied to the 3D model. You can also change the material of the mockup. There is an option to change the background to a solid color or a gradient. After that, Pictora has several pre-made video motions for you. To export the footage, click on Super Export. Then choose the type of file you want to create. You can also choose the aspect ratio of the video or image. Click export now and your mockup will be downloaded. Go to 3D design button to use 3D modeling tools. Here you can adjust the position, size and number of object of the mockup, even at object like box and rectangle. And there you have it, mock-up and packaging design with minimal effort. All fonts and elements are listed in the description. A special thanks to Pictora for making this video possible. Be sure to check out their website, and don't forget to use the code FZDSGN for a 20% discount on their subscription. That's it for today's video, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.